morning guys today I'm gonna show you how you can do your uh, first practical test for this uh, course what you're gonna do is that first you're gonna go to the uh, Northwind database and we open the customer table in the customer table we're gonna add to column the username we can set to um, Anwar Char 50 and also password which we can set to Anwar Char as well we set this to a little bit bigger the length set it to 200 and then we save the changes the next thing we gotta do is that we will create the MBC web application project and after that we will go to the model to add the ADO.NET entity data model and click OK here we will choose code first from database click next I will choose the Northwind connection In the table, we will select customers, orders, and order details. Click finish. What it will do is that it will generate the uh, context class, which you inherit from DB context. You will at the same time install the entity framework, as you can see from here entity framework entity framework dot SQL server automatically you will get a list of class um, in the model folder this is the context class we have the customer class order class and order details next create the view folder view model folder view model and here we can create the lock-in view model in this lock-in view model we can create the username string username and uh, password one more is the customer ID this view model login view model is specifically create for the view okay this view model and the model inside the model folder are different so the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to create the view. How do we create the view? We can create the view in the home folder. Right click, add, view. Here we can choose, um, let's say for example, register. And then we choose the create template. We choose the model class. From the mod for the model class, we will choose login. And we don't have to choose the data context class. And let's click add. Next, we're gonna go to the uh, home controller to create the action method public action results our view is register return view right next we're gonna uh, load the view let's run uh, 
the browser, run our program. Here is our view. As you can see, the purpose of the view model is specifically created for view. So this is the requirement for the practical test. We want to register, allow customer to self-register based on the um, customer ID. If the customer ID match with the one in the database, the customer table, you want to allow the customer to register. Otherwise, you will throw an error message. Next, we can create the HD post for the register action method. HTTP post. For here, we're going to accept the view model. Login view model. Add the reference. Okay. So, whatever you key in in the view, the username, the password, and the customer ID, all of them will be stored in this object. It will pass through this uh, view model. If you take a look of your view, um, at the top of your registered uh, view, at the top of your registered view, you can see this um, model where application 19 is your project name. This is the folder inside this project view models and this is your view model login view model now what we're going to do is that we are going to uh, connect to the contacts so we will write contacts private take a look of our model this is our contacts name model and say db equals to new model alternate enter over here you can write the link query or link method query var We gotta do a few checking using the link query or link method query. Few things that we're gonna check is that we're gonna check um, if user already register. So I did that. Register user is equals to from in db dot customer select c where c dot user name dot equal now we're gonna check against login vm this is what the user key in and this is what in the database login vm dot username and we wrap it with the single or default dot single or default if I can get an object, any uh, any value in this object, it means the user already registered. If this object is equals to now, it means that the user haven't registered. So we can do a check here. Say if register user is not equals to now. We're gonna 
write a view back here view back error we can say you this user name already registered okay this username already registered and then we're gonna return the view the next thing we're gonna check is to check the customer ID just to make sure that the customer ID exists in the customer table before we allow that user to register so we can write VAR valid customer is equals to again if you use link query syntax you write from c in db dot customers select c where c dot customer id dot equals login vm dot customer id okay and we can wrap it with again single or default once again we can write if valid customer is not equals to now okay now this time around we will check if valid customer is equals to now then we will say view back error is equals to customer ID cannot be found and we we'll return the view now let's go back to our home controller and if let's say for example um, we pass the, valid the first validation and we pass the second validation no issue next we allow user to register how do we allow users to register we can simply just say db dot save changes but before we uh, db dot save changes we have to search for that particular customer object that you want to update and as well as you have to add the username and the password so here I will say valid customer dot username is equals to login vm dot username and the second one is the password equals to login vm dot password now the thing is that uh, before we save this password to the database the requirement of the practical pass is that we have to hash that password first so if you remember what we do what we did is we have to install the uh, uh, script.net we go to manage new git browse we type scrypt.net and then we install this script.net after that you add the reference using dot script encoder encoder equals to new script encoder so for this encoder we are going to encode it first encoder 
into arts and code this built-in method and we put the clear text password this is the clear text password we put it inside this method and this method will automatically help you to hash the clear text password and after that the hash value will be stored into this valid customer object under uh, password property and then we're going to save the changes so that you can uh, see the update in the database now let's show a simple message probably we can just back the view back if you don't want to create so many view back or you don't want to create a separate view just to store the uh, complete message you can say register successfully please lock in right let's uh, build the project and run the program again now let's try to um, create the username proper username we say Anton small letter and the password is ABC123 you can choose to uh, change this to uh, password type in the model there and then here I'll put Anton this is uh, just to make sure that um, we put in the correct customer ID Anton at the moment the username is now if you register successfully username and password will appear in this row so just uh, let's try it now click read okay it says here registered successfully and if you come back to the database to refresh this table you will see this username exists now updated and as well as the hash uh, value for the password also updated for that particular customer of course we can also go back to the register view there to change the login value from create to um, register right now the next thing you're gonna do is that we're gonna create the uh, login view you can choose to create another view model for login or you can use back the existing login VM here by right the name for this VM should be register VM but uh, it's okay since we have uh, changed to uh, since we use this login VM, we can try to create uh, another view. Right click the home folder and create the view. Here we'll say login. The template we choose is create. We choose the login VM and click add. Here we have the username, we have the password, and we have the customer ID. Since we log in using username and password, we don't really need the customer ID. And the next thing is that we're going to go back to the home controller there to create the action method. We're going to create the action method for the um, HTTP post. One is for the HTTP GET login, and another one is for the HTTP POST. Again, here we're gonna use the login VM. Here we're gonna check the uh, username 
for the username we're gonna get the hash value first so that we can compare the hash value with what password the user type we can't just put the username and password to compare in the link query because the password stored in the database is a hash value so we'll say var valid customer is equals to I can use back the same query um, from here copy and paste it here now check the username if the username match with the one in the database I'm going to grab the hash value if valid customer is not equals if it is now I can put uh, if valid customer is equals to now it means what well, it means um, there's a problem so we'll back dot error equals to username or password is invalid and through way you can return the view this is a guard clause you don't have to write so many if else okay so the next thing we're gonna do is that we are going to check the hash value so to check the hash value again we have to create the object of script encoder we can just copy from the one that we have previously created okay so we say boolean is authenticated customer you can change to uh, is valid customer for simplicity is valid customer is equals to encoder dot just now the one that we use is encode to hash the clear text password to hash value now if you want to check we use the compare method in the compare method we have uh, two parameter that we can uh, two argument the first one is a clear text the clear text is in login vm dot so small login vm dot uh, password okay and the second one is oops get an arrow here login dot password the second one is the hash one the hash one is in valid customer over here gonna get the hash value the hash value is stored in password column has property true return true or false if it is true it means what the user key in match with the one in the database the hash value so you say if is valid customer then you can show whatever page that you want to redirect to for example you want to return to the um, about view you can just to test it out and if you hit any error you will put into the view back an error message say user or password is invalid you can give it a same error message now if you go back to the login view you can add liars 
view back dot error. Now let's uh, compile and test it. Okay, let's just simply type anything. Okay, it says user or password is invalid. And if you put in the correct username but the wrong password, you will also get the same error message. But if you put the correct password, ABC123, and click create, you will be getting another view, which is the about view. Of course, it's not the what the practical test uh, wants you to do, but this is just to show that um, we have we managed to come to um, this scope. The next thing we gotta do is that we will create the order view, go to the view folder under home. You can create a new view. You can say order. I'm going to choose the list. I'm going to show all the order for that particular customer who log in. And then here we choose the order model. And over here we can choose the uh, app DB contacts if you want to. Okay, automatically you will get a view all the uh, code will be given to you okay of course we don't really need to create we can delete this off and if we go back to the home controller you can create another action method to load this order view and change this to order okay over here we're gonna load the um, order are we gonna load it you can say We return if you, you don't have to write any if you don't uh, write any query you can just return the DB dot order but we can't do that over here because before we're gonna return everything to the view we have to filter first so say VAR filter order is equals to DB dot Depends on uh, is it a link query or link method? I say again, we start with link query. We say from o in db dot order select o where o dot customer id. equals now what are we going to put here the thing is that when we lock in successfully which is uh, over here the previous code that we have let me uh, open up this bigger what you have to do is that you have to create a session here session customer ID is equals to is valid dot oops sorry it's your valid customer dot customer ID so once you manage to f find that particular customer and if the customer is not now. I mean, if the customer is uh, valid, there's an, a value. There's a value in this object. Not now. You get the customer ID. Of course, you have to check first the hash value. Make sure the hash value match with what uh, user type. 
and if everything okay only you get the customer ID and store inside a session and once you have the session you can filter it here you can say VAR ID is equals to session customer ID and then ID we convert it to string and pass into the link query for filter and here we put single or default nope sorry this is not single default because it is a list it is an enumerable right so you have to filter first just to make sure you only view all the order for that particular customer not all the orders and here we can put inside the uh, return it back to the view okay so what you can do next is that you can redirect it to this action method instead of return to the about view which is um, not what we want we can change this to return redirect to action we're gonna put the action name the action name is uh, order And that's it. Let's compile our application. So what it does is you will check just to make sure the username is correct. After that you will check just to make sure the password is correct. And if um, both are correct, you will create the session. And then after that you will redirect to order action method this is to be get and from the session you can able to filter all the orders just to make sure that you only see your own order the, 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 the customers own order and then you return to the view to, to, to see the data let's try to compile and run this refresh it type uh, Anton the password is ABC123 and yeah, click this right this is all the data just for that particular customer this is what we want okay so so far so good the next thing you can do is that you can go back to the um, uh, login view again you can change the default button value from create to login few things to update is you can go to the share folder go to the layout view And in the layout view, we're going to change this to uh, order. This is the text, and this is the action method. The action method is uh, order. We can delete the rest of it. We can also create another view, right click, add new item. In new item there, we can search for view. Razor, layout. Here we can add a new view. So for this new view, we can just copy everything and paste it here 
but for this underscore locking one I will change um, change it to register and another one is locking just to follow uh, the practical fast requirement So once you have changed this, how do we connect to this view? When you go to, you can go to your login view over there. You can change your layout. So you can say layout is. So it's actually. Like this, All right? We got this uh, different layout. We do the same for register. Now, if you take a look of this uh, register, in register you have this uh, layout. In login, also you have the same layout. And if you try to lock in. You get a different layout. This is basically from another layout. Okay. Next thing is you can create the order details. You can do the same for order details. Go to the home folder, create view. Say order details. You can choose list template again order detail doesn't matter you choose or not this uh, data contacts now we can delete this create link which we don't really need we can also delete the edit detail and delete which we don't really need Go back to the home controller there to create the action method. Order details. Same thing, you're gonna filter first. Now what we need is the order details. So to get the order details, what we need to do is that we have to join order with order details. So from O in DB dot orders, we join O D in DB dot order details. Where's the join key? On dot on O dot order ID equals OD dot order ID. Order ID is basically the key to join these two table. The order ID is the foreign key in order details which join to the uh, primary key. The order ID, order ID is the primary key for orders. So after you join already, what we need to select out is the OD. You want to show OD to the view. So we just Again, dump this um, filter order. You can change it to all the details if you want to. All the details, filter order details, filter order details. And let's uh, compile it and go to the layout there to add another one more link, action link for order details here we can put the action method this action method order details it's same with the one that you have here all the details compile it and let's run it you can also change the default routing if you go to app underscore start route config 
you can change the default routing to locking and when you run it the default page is the login page you can uh, delete this link which is uh, not um, useful here let's create another one let's say uh, bolip bolip password is 123abc bolip register okay register successfully please log in if I go to the database to run refresh it and get the uh, bolip registered together with the um, hash value stored in the password column let's try the login using bolip bolip Password is ABC123. As you can see, the information for this user is different from Anton. Anton has their own order, Bolip has their own order. This is Bolip. And this is Anton. Alright, hope you guys are able to get the idea on how to complete this uh, practical test or best.